let us move on to the second quadrant. Draw the second quadrant shape. What would have Take the second quadrant. Second quadrant is like this. This is the second quadrant. Same location you take. Take 20 mm height, 30 mm breadth. So now the point is 20 mm above HP, 30 mm behind the HP. So when you combine this, we we'll get the position of capital B. So introduce another projector for B. Here we have the vertical plane here, horizontal plane here. As usual, rotate the plane. Now what happens? The planes they are folded in. So you get the Front view, when you view from here, you will get B dash. You will just rotate uh, this particular line here. You will get B, which is at a distance 30 mm above XY line. B dash is located 20 mm above XY line. B is located at 30 mm above XY line. Here the beauty is that both the top view and the front view they lie above x y line because the planes are folded in. So take the same 20 mm, make B dash, then take 30 mm, mark B dash. This is 30 see the projection of uh, points it's actually the orthographic projection of points so we are going to see the front view and top view of uh, A, B, C, D there are 4 points and different places so let's we'll see first uh, the projection of A you see this point is placed in first quadrant so you have the horizontal plane here and then you have the vertical plane here the position of A is nothing but uh, a point that is above HP by 20 mm and in front of HP by 20 mm so here what happens, uh, you find the front view, when you view from here, you will get the front view at this place. This is small A with the dash. When you see the top view, you will get uh, from here, the actual answer lies somewhere here. So you will get small A as top view. Now plot this, for this vertical plane and horizontal plane, you have a common edge that is the reference line. First to draw the reference line XY. Then draw the projector for A. Take the height 20 mm. Place it on the XY line. Take 20 mm above XY line. Plot the point A dash. That's the front view of point A. Now, what happens the top view? We cannot see the front view and top view simultaneously. So, the procedure is rotate this plane. 90 degree clockwise. So obviously the plane comes at the bottom by giving out this top view also at the bottom. So whenever there is a point which is in front of VP, the top view comes below x y line. Whenever a point is above HP, the front view comes above x y line. So take uh, 30 mm below x y line, plot this point as A, find uh, the top view. So this is 20 mm above xy line, this is 30 mm below xy line. So in front of vp, below xy line, above hp, above xy line. Therefore below hp, below xy line. In front of vp, below xy line. Behind vp, above xy line. This is how you have to predict. Now you go through this point, this is point b, which is 30 mm behind vp and 20 mm above hp. Finally you arrive at this point. When you see the front view here, the location of the front view is available here, that is 20 mm above HP. So above HP, above HP. Behind VP, it should actually go 
above x value because you see here here the planes are folded out but here we just rotate this clockwise 90 degree so obviously the plane also the hp plane also will go up so the d point will also go up so you will have b which is at a distance of 30 mm from x y line so therefore you just draw another 10 mm you will have 30 mm above x y line take a reasonable distance between this projector and the next projector let us say take 20 mm so this distance is distance between the end projector a and b put the reasonable 20 mm it's only an arbitrary distance place b again 20 mm above xy line so take make use of the same 20 place b less it is 30 mm behind bp so therefore it is 30 mm above xy line take another 10 mm at the top try to put the point small b so here we understand uh, one concept that is any point is above hp effect view will be above xy line any point is below hp then the front view will be below x y line. Point is in front of VP, the top view will be below x y line. Behind VP, the top view will be above x y line. Let us go to the point C. See here the point is placed in that point. The position is point is below HP and behind it. It is below HP 20 mm and behind VP 30 mm. So when you see from here the point, uh, the front view comes here. It is 20 mm below x y line. Then once again the rule is we rotate the horizontal plane by 90 degree clockwise. So the plane obviously goes up. This view also goes up. Then you will get uh, the top view C that is 30 mm above x y line. So now you can plot uh, the C as well. Check uh, this reference line. Here reasonably you draw another line. Say C. Take 20 mm and mark C dash because it is 20 mm below HP, so below x y line. Front view is below x y line. It is 30 mm behind VP, so therefore 30 mm above x y line. We make use of the same distance here and you can mark C. Remember, A and A dash should lie on the same line. B and B dash should lie on the same line. C and C dash should also lie on the same line. This is projector for A, projector for B, then projector for C. This is uh, A which is 20 mm above HP, 30 mm in front of VP. So obviously above HP means it is above x y. In front of VP means it is below x y. The second quadrant B that is 20 mm above HP and 30 mm behind VP. So above HP means above x y line, behind VP means it is above x y line. You have C, the third quadrant where the point is 20 mm below HP and 30 mm behind VP. So obviously if it is behind VP, the top view will be above XY line. Below HP, the front view will be below XY line. Let us go to the fourth quadrant, point D. Take this point D, it is 20 mm below HP and 30 mm in front of VP. So again you draw one line for D, it is 20 mm below HP. So obviously you can draw this d dash 20 mm below x y again you can rotate this plane 90 degree clockwise so obviously this horizontal plane will also come here then the same top view also will come below so therefore you have this top view that is placed 30 mm in front of uh, vp so this will come below and obviously you will have the point D which is 30 mm below x y line. So take 30 mm below x y line, place the point D. So we have uh, these distinct uh, four quadrants. A is in the first quadrant, B is in the second quadrant, C is in the third quadrant, D is in the fourth quadrant. Here A is the plane of uh, plane folded out, folded out plane. So A dash is the front view which is above x y line. A is the top view which is below x y line. Because it is above HP by 20 mm 
we will take above xy by 1 dmo because it is uh, 30 mm in front of vp we take 30 mm below xy here it is you see the b and b dash both lie above xy line because for b which is 20, which is 30 mm in front of vp is 30 mm behind vp so obviously behind vp means it is above xy line again it is 20 mm above hp so obviously it is above x y Take the point C, the third quadrant. Third quadrant is 20 mm below HP and 30 mm behind VP. So behind VP means obviously the top view should go above x y line. Below HP means the front view should go below x y line. Here you see the point D is 20 mm below HP and 30 mm in front of VP. If it is below HP by 20 mm, it should go below by 20 mm. 30 mm in front of means it should go 30 mm below HP. 